Let's talk about the seven ways that you can boost your testosterone. These are natural things you can do. The first thing is to make sure you do not lower your cholesterol. You want to increase your cholesterol. Do not go on a low fat diet. Why? Because cholesterol is the precursor, the building blocks that help make testosterone. And that's one of the problems too when your doc puts you on statins. Statins block cholesterol, which then end up lowering testosterone. And that is one big challenge. So I'm not telling you not to take your statin. All I'm saying is that you might want to research it, get with your doctor, and find out the real reason why your cholesterol might be high. And I have some videos on that. Instead of just treating the symptom, let's find out what the actual cause is. But you don't want to go low on the cholesterol if you want high testosterone. Let's talk about protein, moderate protein. Uh, a myth is that you need a lot of protein to stimulate your testosterone. No, you need a moderate amount. Now, what's a moderate amount? Well, I'd say about between six to eight ounces per meal. Now, I'm talking about the weight of the actual food, like a piece of steak or a hamburger or something like that. I'm not talking about the grams within that because the grams within that is a lot less. I do have quite a few videos on protein. I'll put some down below if you want more information on that. But you just want to avoid too much protein. If you consume too much protein, you're going to get tired. And the reason why you're going to get tired is that you're like half of it. Uh, can easily be turned into glucose. So when you turn it into glucose, because your body doesn't necessarily use amino acids as its fuel, some, but not much, it has to be converted into glucose to be used as fuel. So that excess amount of insulin that's triggered by the glucose is going to block your testosterone. So just do a moderate amount of protein. Number three, you want to go low carbs, for the same reason, because carbs increase insulin. So if we keep our insulin low, we can enhance testosterone and other beneficial hormones like growth hormone. Number four, exercise will stimulate testosterone if it's high intensity interval training or exercise involving the whole body uh, to the point where you're sweating, but not overtraining. But the problem is if you're not sleeping, you don't want to do that. Okay, because it's going to strain your heart. You want to do long walks for a while to lower the cortisol so you can sleep, so you can eventually add more exercise to then increase more testosterone. Now, just as a side note, and I didn't put this on this chart, is that I always recommend when you do low carb, it's called keto, you also do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting improves growth hormone. And wherever growth hormone goes, testosterone goes. It tends to follow similar pathways. And so intermittent fasting is vital to keep your testosterone levels normal. Because if you're doing snacks and frequent meals, you're just going to increase insulin and suppress testosterone. That is why a pre-diabetic or someone with insulin resistance or a diabetic normally always has low testosterone. And that's going to affect your muscle mass and it's going to affect your libido and your energy. Number five, sleep. Very, very important. Why? Because we want to keep our cortisol lower. Increase cortisol, the stress hormone, we lower testosterone. We also want to keep estrogen on the low side. So you want to avoid soy products, especially soy protein isolates, which is in a lot of diet foods and like the fake meat and things like that. And then you want to avoid things that increase estrogen. So you want to do organic because pesticides, insecticides, act like estrogen in the body. They're called estrogen mimickers or endocrine disruptors. There are certain supplements that can also help you as well. The most important one is zinc, about 100 milligrams per day. This will actually work very well. Another good one that I recommend is the Korean red ginseng. This not only improves testosterone, but it's going to improve your energy. It's going to give you a sense of calmness. It'll give you stamina. It'll give you vitality. It's a really, really good herb. It's been used for a very long, long time with great success. L-arginine will increase something called nitric oxide, which can increase testosterone. It's a good supplement. But remember, anytime you're doing supplements, they may not work if your diet isn't corrected. And if you don't 
know what to eat, I put a link down below. And then we have something called D-aspartic acid, another really good compound to help increase testosterone. Last few points, if you have a fatty liver and you're looking down and you have a gut, you have a fatty liver, that's gonna inhibit your ability to make testosterone. So you wanna work on removing the fat from your liver by doing a moderate protein, low carb, ketogenic diet. Also, if your iron is too high, that can suppress your testosterone and it can destroy your liver. So I always recommend if you're male, not to take iron supplements. And even postmenopausal women who are no longer menstruating should be careful too because iron in excess is very harmful to your liver and hormones. And it's very difficult for your body to get rid of iron. So you want to be careful not to get it in supplements, which you might even not be aware of. When you read the label, it's like, wow, I've been taking all this iron. No, I wouldn't recommend that. And statins, I already talked about that point. All right, there you go. Seven ways to boost your testosterone. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.